Worldwide parent coach and conscious educator Sue DeCaro is on a mission to revitalize the joy in parenting. Welcome to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids, a podcast designed to help parents all over the world create deeper connections with themselves and their children while overcoming life's daily parenting challenges. Listen in if you want to bring more laughter, love, and enjoyment to your home life. Welcome to Conscious Parents Thriving Kids, a place for all things parenting. I am your host, Sue DeCaro. Self-acceptance and love are two of the most important things that we can offer and give ourselves. They're like gifts. So why are we so hard on ourselves? Why do we treat ourselves with judgment and engage in negative self-talk? We can certainly be our own worst critic. I wonder sometimes what our lives would be like if everything we said to ourselves came from a place of love and compassion and not judgment. Would we feel better each day, each moment of each day perhaps? As we work to become kinder and more loving and compassionate toward others, we must learn to do this for ourselves. It is of utmost importance. We should really be learning this first before offering this to others. We deserve nothing less than our own kindness, compassion, and love. Nothing less. We are often so kind and compassionate with all those in our lives, our friends, our partners, our children, even strangers, right? So why is it so hard for us to actually offer this compassion to ourselves? Again, we deserve this first and foremost. On the hamster wheel of life, sometimes we forget to stop and think. We forget to think about what we are feeling and how what we are feeling or going through might affect our thoughts, affect us mentally. Oftentimes, we rush to solutions and situations while at the same time, we are judging ourselves or feeling bad. Can anyone relate? But what if we don't rush and instead We sit with the moment and the feelings that come with it. And we actually allow them to flow. This is giving ourselves an enormous gift, the gift of acceptance, accepting what is, the gift of love, and of course the gift of compassion. In the moment, each moment. When we allow ourselves to feel the actual feeling of the moment without judgment or negative self-talk, We not only are becoming more compassionate or being more compassionate, but also accepting ourselves as we are in that moment and whatever is coming up for us, whatever the situation is. Life is filled with hurdles, stepping stones, sad moments and disappointments, but how we move forward in light of them is the key ingredient, how we move forward. In my opinion, accepting ourselves as we are is critical. Acceptance and authenticity help us to bring love and compassion to ourselves and therefore to others as well. We are all human and we all deserve this. So self-acceptance means accepting all of you, knowing that none of us are perfect and the imperfections are lovable and part of us, just as the things we think are perfect. Of course, nothing is perfect in this world. There's no such thing, right, as perfect. So loving ourselves as whole beings, all of our parts, all of our feelings, all of our actions and inactions. What would it look like if you loved yourself more, brought more acceptance to your everyday life, and created more opportunities to turn judgment and negative self-talk around, reframing it either as a learning opportunity or as a positive thing. Asking yourself, what can I see in this that might offer me something to learn from, to move forward with that's positive? How do you think this would make you feel? So here are a few ideas to help you get started on this path of self-acceptance and love, or maybe deepen the path because you're probably already on it, right? 
I suggest hugging yourself every day. Literally, put your arms around yourself and give yourself a great big hug. It's an incredible feeling. I've done it. I love it. It makes me feel good. Take a walk in nature, slowing your life down just a little bit. It's amazing when you walk outside and appreciate everything around you. The birds singing, the breeze flowing, the trees, the flowers and plants as they begin to bloom. Just looking around you. Dress in whatever feels good. Want to be in your PJs and you can, can do that? Then stay in your PJs. Dress in whatever feels right for you. It's not about pleasing everyone else. It's about pleasing you. Sit and mindfully enjoy a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or whatever your beverage of choice is without feeling any pressure to do anything. Just sit with the tea. Sit with the coffee. Enjoy each sip mindfully accepting. This is your moment right there. Dance while you make dinner. Enjoy that moment. I'm a big fan of dance parties in the kitchen. They can be loads of fun. Do one thing that usually makes you uncomfortable and try to appreciate it and embrace the discomfort that it brings. This is a big part of life, right? There's lots of discomfort in our life. So knowing and naming something that might be uncomfortable for you, but also accepting it and saying you can do this can really be a loving and kind gesture to oneself. One of my all-time favorites, look at yourself in the mirror and say a few positive things each and every day, a few loving things, accepting things. See yourself, see your whole self and be kind. To what you see. It's a beautiful gift. Do something that energizes you each and every day. This is well set where self-care comes in. And I do talk a lot about self-care in my podcast, and it's so important to have some sort of self-care plan, even if it's five minutes a day. So do one thing that energizes you each day. Perhaps it's a walk in nature, or a dance party as you make dinner, or sitting with a cup of tea. It could be one of those things as well. Find the good in something that does not feel good and write about it, journal about it. Feel the feeling, something that doesn't feel good and finding the good. That's what I call a reframe, right? Reframing the situation into something that's, that's more comforting for us. What did you learn? How do you feel? And Similar to that, reframe your negative self-talk. Whatever you're telling yourself, when you catch yourself, reframe it. It's a beautiful gift of self-acceptance and love. We're all human beings doing the best we can each and every day. We're all on this roller coaster of life. But the more love and acceptance we can bring to ourselves, the more we can feel growth and excitement internally from that. We find it so easy sometimes to give compliments or forgive people for their mistakes and see the positive in things that happen to others. This means we have it in us to give the same gift to ourselves. While it may be harder to do, knowing that we have the capacity to love ourselves the way we love others is empowering, isn't it? I think it is. So I invite you to challenge yourself Pick a few things from the things I shared in the list that speak to you and commit to doing them every day for two weeks, every day. You'll be surprised at how quickly your outlook on yourself and your life changes. Don't be surprised if you see an improvement in your relations with others as well. So I wish you lots of self-acceptance and self-love as a beautiful gift that you deserve just for you. Thank you for joining me and remember every moment is a new moment for Conscious Connections. Thanks for listening to Conscious Parents Thriving Kids. If you like what you heard, the best compliment you can give us is to share this podcast with a friend and be sure to give us some stars and a favorable review at Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen in.